Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Keith here for Command the Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time viewing the channel, if you could subscribe, thumbs up or a comment below would be really appreciated. Folks, I'm currently over in Glasgow at the moment for a couple of days, so it's down at Celtic Park today just for a little stroll around it. Brilliant as usual, spectacular place. So um hopefully you get the stadium tour in the next couple of days, go through the iconic reception doors, we shall see. Just want to say um we see a couple of players that will be leaving the next 24 hours. Players will be coming in. So we're here to talk about the transfer news. Otten Edward, Ryan Christie, looks like they're leaving. They're going to go to English football. Edward's going to join Palace for 15.4 million. There's been talks over the weekend of Everton, Rupert Kazan, Baudor. And it looks like Palace are going to sign him. Part of year is going to get him over the line. And we'll make 60% out of this deal 40% will go to PSG I just want to wish Odson the very best he's got some phenomenal goals for Celtic gave us some great moments over the last four years and um, I hope he strives in the Premier League really do hope he gets the best hope he gets the best out of himself see the goals that we've seen back in the past we shall see under um, Fiera and see what he's like in the English football fingers crossed regards to English football the championship Ryan Christie looks like he's going to join Bournemouth looks like he's going to be a free Six months left in his contract. He's available to talk to other teams if he wants. And um, I wish him the very best. You know, the Championship's a difficult league. He's going to be working under Scott Parker, which he helped Fulham get promoted a couple of years back. So, I hope he strives. I hope he does well. He's reportedly going to be flying down there in the morning. And the deal's going to be done and dusted. And I wish him the very best. Regards to replacing him on the wing, we're meant to be getting a left winger in from Portugal. A guy called Felipe Yate, 22 year old. He's currently on the Benfica books. He's represented Benfica over 21 times. He helped them win the Portuguese title back a couple of years back. He was on loan in Spain last season, played 17 times, scored one goal. So he looks pretty good. Um, he hasn't represented Portugal in senior level yet. He's represented them up from 15s up to 21. So Hopefully this is a good prospect. It's a loan option. It's not a loan to buy, but let's see what happens. I know a lot of people are not into the whole loan option, but it's the first one this season, which is not bad. It's not bad at all, considering Celtic and Atari's for the loans. We're looking at to get another loan e player that's had to come out of books the last couple of days is Cameron Vickers of Tottenham Hotspur. He's an American international. He's over six foot. He's played for America over 25 times he's um 26 years of age i like to see him come in At the end of the day um we were linked with this guy back about seven weeks ago and nothing broke nothing happened with it nothing happened with it so hopefully he comes with him he can play center back and left back that's what we need we need we need cover in the left back position we were absolutely brutal there yesterday and i know Jovanovic was his first game but it's not his preferred position he did play okay but it's the likes of Taylor. We don't know how long Taylor's going to be out for. Bonin Goldie needs to go. Hopefully he can go within the next 24 hours. I can see one of the one of the keepers being sent out alone. Maybe likes of Barkas or Bain will go out. I think Hazard will stay. We'll have to see. But Edward and Christie are out the door. Regards to getting a striker in. Georges Gigamakis has done his medical over in Holland. He's coming from a team that was um, relegated last season. VVV Veno, 26 goals in 30 games. Year de Vise, top goal scorer last season. Six games for Greece, two goals for the Greek national team. So I'm looking forward to getting this boy in. Over six foot one. Looks pretty decent. This could be Edward's replacement. Hopefully it pays off. 2.5 million, a four year deal as well. So fingers crossed. There was a lot of talks of Troy Deeney being linked to Celtic, but it came out tonight that. He's joined Birmingham City's Troy Hook Club. So the likes of Celtic and Rangers that were linked with Troy Deeney's signature. That's all gone. It was all it was all rubbish talk. Absolute rubbish talk. So let's see what happens in the next 24 hours. I'd like to see us go for another centre back. There's talks that we're meant to be getting a centre back, but we shall see. And hopefully we get a left back as well. So strikers in, a winger's in, folks on a centre back, and then we roll on to the next transfer window. So let us know what you think about the Edward business. Is it, is it all right? 15.4 million. I know we don't get the full fee. Are you happy with that? Because I feel like um, 
I would have kept Edward considering even though he missed the city yesterday. What if George just doesn't work out? Yeah, he's not up for it. And you never know, Griffiths and Dundee FC might happen before they close the business tomorrow as well. So if any more news tomorrow for you folks, I'll be straight on YouTube and I'll put it up for you. Take care, subscribe to the channel. Hell, hell. Have a good night. Take care.